For this tutorial, I'm going to show you a method for creating the crown on a queen, specifically these scallops that are fairly typical of the design for a queen's crown for a chess piece. So you would make the body with the lathing up to this point, make the body of the crown just a cylindrical shape, and then we'll extrude these scallops out from it and place the hemisphere on top of that, and then the sphere on top of that. So let's get going. Now I'm not going to do the lathing. I'm just going to simplify this by using a cylinder. It'll be the same effect as having lathed it. So we're going to going to turn on constant shading with lines. Going to go with 32 segments. That's so we can get eight projections in our scallop. Make it editable and optimize it. And for the sake of the demo here, I'm just going to remove the polygons on the bottom. So when we add our subdivision surface, it'll stay nice and, nice and straight. Now, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do here is select these polygons. I'm going to extrude directly upward. and then scale outward. That's going to give me my curve here when I add a subdivision surface. Then I'm going to extrude upward one more time. It's going to give me the depth here on my scallops. And then scale inward to get the angle, get this angle here. Then inner extrude to get the thickness of the scalloped area. Then extrude downward just to create an inset there. And then extrude inward one more time. And then delete that. Drop the tool. So this hole here that I've just created uh, is for so I can sew, stitch and sew this hemisphere uh, into it. Okay, so now I'm going to select two polygons. Select those two right there. Make sure, just looking to see whether they're bisected on the blue axis. Not critical, but I just like to keep it nice and even. And then two, skip two. And select more, two more, skip two, select two, skip two, select two, all the way around. Skipping two and selecting two. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extrusions in my scallop. I'm going to extrude those outward as far as I feel they would be appropriate. Then I'm going to select uh, the edges here and move them down so that these, it's not quite so deep there. So I'll use my loop select to select those. Go to live select and just Deselect all these. It's faster to deselect than selecting each of those. And I'm just going to push those down so they're not quite so tall. Drop that tool. Now, if I uh, add a subdivision surface to the cylinder at this point, Take a look at it. We got a good start, but we need to refine our shapes and sharpen up edges. So one of the things that we're looking at here 
is a smaller curve here, a broader curve there, and conversely, smaller width on the scallop here on the outside, and on the upper inside portion, a broader width. So, in order to get that, we're going to go to vertex mode and we're going to go to slide. And we're going to slide these vertices for each of those extrusions. We're going to slide those vertices inward to create that narrowing at the top. That'd be nice if we could just select all these vertices and scale them, but Cinema doesn't let you do that. So we're going to have to do them each manually and individually, just eyeballing the amount that we slide each vertex. So I'll work my way all the way around. like that. Then in like manner, I'm going to take these and move them about midway in to get the narrowing there. And the nice thing about using the slide tool is it does move the vertex directly along the edge with which it's associated. So works pretty quickly. Don't need to keep toggling between the, the, the slide tool and the live select. Just use the slide tool and just keep selecting and moving the vertices as needed. So we've got them all. And the next thing is we need to have this curve downward, this lower edge curve downward here. So I'm going to just take those vertices and just slide them down. Again, just eyeballing it. Trying to get the approx approximately the same amount of movement. Okay. Now, in doing that, you may end up with these vertices uh, being jutting out a little bit too far here. So what I would do next is go to my Move tool and just select all those. And I just moved that manipulator out of the way for the time being. And then I can use my scale tool just to scale those inward so that they line up with the profile of, our, of the surface here as best as possible. Okay, so now let's take a look at our subdivision surface again. Okay, working pretty well. Just need to sharpen up edges. So we'll do that by using the knife in loop mode. So knife, loop mode, I'm going to place a loop here, place a loop there, I'll place a loop on the inside here, and on these edges there. And then also if we drop that tool and now activate our subdivision surface, Take a look at what we've got. Looking pretty good, except these edges on the scallops need to be sharper. A little bit too round and soft right there. So come back, go back into subdivision, or go back into polygon mode. Activate the loop tool and just place a loop around e the top of each one of these extrusions. That'll sharpen up that edge. A 
last one, drop the tool, run our subdivision surface, and there that looks pretty good. Now if you need to come in and scale in the, the loop here to get more of a curve, then you can get more of this curvature here, then you can adjust, make that adjustment. So that finishes our scallops. Now, as far as creating this dome on top, that's pretty simple. Just put in our sphere. It's got to have the same number of segments as we have on our hole there. And so we got 32 edges. So the sphere needs to be 32. Instead of a standard sphere, we want a hemisphere. And we'll scale it down. To appropriate size to fit into that hole right there so that we can sew it sew it right into that hole so I'm going to flatten this out a little bit more it's a little bit too rounded for what I'm seeing here so I'll make it editable loop. Let's delete that. Optimize to get rid of any floating vertices. Drop the tool. Select the whole thing and see whether that fits. That fits pretty well. You can scale it down a little bit if you need to flatten it a bit. Take that sphere. I'm going to take my cylinder and drag it out of the subdivision surface temporarily. Move the sphere down next to it, select both, right click, connect objects and delete. Because for stitch and sew to work, they both, both meshes need to be part of the same object. So now I'm going to got that loop of edges selected there. Double click on that loop to select those. Right click stitch and sew and hold down the shift key and drag between from one vertex to its companion vertex let go now they're sewn together go back and select those and uw ui i should say to select all of those move it down make it a subdivision surface and there we go. And it's just a question of putting this, uh, sewing the sphere onto the top of our dome. And looks pretty good.